And now we're going to talk about how does Google actually go out and, um, and get at all these pages? How do, they, how do they get them? Well, imagine that you had to get to every page on the web. What would you do? If I was you, I would start from a very popular page that has a lot of links to other pages. I'd look at all the pages. I'd look at that page, that first page. Hello. I'd look, I'd look at that first page, and then I'd follow all the links from that first page. I'd look at that page. I'd follow all the links from the second page. I'd look at that page. In fact, I would click links and links and links and links and links and links and links until I got out to an enormous part of the web. Would I get to the entire web? Huh? -uh. Right? I wouldn't get to the entire web. The web is a network. You should be able to figure this out, actually, from what I've already told you earlier in the course. The web is a network. It consists of nodes and links. Each page is a node, and all, the, and all the links on the page are links. Well, you know that some pages are hubs, right? Some pages are connected to tons and tons of pages. If you find those hub pages, you'll get to a very large portion of the web. But you could also go to, you could also go to a page that is unconnected has no links to any other page on the web. How would you ever get to that page? If you started at that page, you'd never get anywhere else. If you didn't start to that page, you'd never get to that page because it's not linked to anything else. Right? There's a lot of other reasons why Google can't get to stuff on the web. For example, a lot of pages aren't actually pages. A lot of pages are built automatically from databases. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the course. Um, and if they're built automatically from databases, you can't get to them just by clicking some kind of link. Maybe you had to put in a query, or maybe you had to do something else to display that page, or maybe there is no other way to get to the page except that the server decides that that's the page it's going to produce this time. So there's a lot of content that Google can't get to, but it's actually pretty astounding how much content Google can get to by going out through from link to link to link to link to link. And that process of going out from link to link to link to link to link is called spidering because the web, the web is like a web. And what does a spider do? The spider goes out on all the little strands of the web. You can think of each, each kind of crossing point as a node, and each strand of, of, of silk on that web is a, uh, is, a, um, is a link. And so the spider crawls out on all of, those different, um, all of those different branches, all of those different links, and eventually finds a very large part of the web. Now, it's not like Google starts at a specific page. Google starts at a lot of pages. In fact, Google has started as many pages as it can think of that will allow it to spider out, that will allow it to climb out, crawl out to as many bit different parts of the web as possible. But that's the fundamental idea. That's kind of how it works. It crawls, or it's also called spidering, out to all the different links on the web, starting from a set of nodes. Okay, 